Okay, now we are going to learn how to insert images because so far it's quite boring eh? because we have only done text. So now I'm going to show you how to actually make your uh, web page more interesting by incorporating some images inside. So here I have uh, gotten ready one page. Um, I have one heading and then I have one paragraph so this is how it's going to look like okay so now um, how to insert an image first thing you need to have an image first so let's go back to my folder okay this is my folder and uh, I have one image over here this is the image that I'm going to put inside my uh, web page so this is a PNG format it can be any format as you wish and um, it should be within the folder alright so make sure your file your image file and your HTML document is together in one place alright um, because if you if you have this items in different different places your coding will be like a bit messy because you need to put the full path of that file so let's keep it simple and make sure the image is together with your file so here I have my image and this is my HTML document alright so now how to insert that image into this particular page so you need to use the image tag with this which is img and you can put slash forward slash and close it this is how you open and close okay and this is not enough because you need to specify your file name if not the browser could not render the picture so you need a property for this an attribute SRC. SRC stands for uh, source, meaning the source file. So go back to your folder and make sure you spell the file name correctly. So mine will be cat.png. Make sure you put together with the extension. Alright. So double quotes cat.png. Close. Done. Okay very simple this is how you insert images refresh and this is the image that I have um, but for me I think this image is too big I want to adjust the width and the height so what I can do is inside the tag itself I can put the width property and maybe I can put something like 50% and the height I'm going to put as 50% as well okay and let's see what happens so refresh oh it's bigger so what did I do just now okay whenever you use percentage it will take into consideration the size of your browser okay so let's look at the width you put as 50% of the browser so can you see the image width is actually taking half of the web browser the size of it so this is 50% and this is another 50% for the height is the same but you can't really see the 50% here because half is here and the other half is actually here so maybe this is 25% and then here is 25% this one is 50% okay and another thing whenever you use percentage as your measurement uh, unit of measurement if you adjust your browser size do you notice that the image is resizing as well because you are using percentage okay what if you don't want this to happen very simple you can use pixel instead of percentage okay you can use px all right this is another uh, measurement that is frequently used save this and then refresh okay it is smaller 
because it goes according to the pixels that you have on your uh, screen all right so in this case okay this is a bit too small i'm going to put it as 150 each okay so refresh okay bigger so now uh, what's the difference between percentage and uh, pixels if you use percentage uh, the size of your content will change according to the size of the browser but if you use pixels okay let's resize the browser a bit do you see any changes no okay there's no changes in the size of your content because it goes according to the pixel pixel size doesn't change so it's your choice if you don't want your uh, content to change so much you can use pixels if you want it to be changing according to the size of your browser might as well use percentage that is your choice okay so another attribute or another property that you can actually insert in your image tag is okay I'm going to put it in the next line so that you can see the whole thing okay this is not wrong eh? you can actually separate it's okay ALT okay equals to uh, let's say this is my cat okay this is another property that you can use together with the image tag what does this ALT stands for this is alternate text okay what is happening with this particular tag what is it for actually okay let's say I spelt my file name wrongly okay let's say I accidentally inserted an S so if you look at my browser that particular file doesn't exist there's no cats all right so basically when I refresh my browser it's going to have problems finding this file because it doesn't exist okay let me refresh ah can you see it couldn't find the file so instead of leaving it blank what I do is I'm just telling the browser if you couldn't find the image please display at least the name of the image or any information about the image so that is what I put here so if you can't see the image at least the word is there to tell you what the image is about okay another thing is um, title so I can put like Garfield okay so what is the title property for this title is not the same as the title that you see here is totally different all right so this title is like a tool tip okay let me remove this s so that you can see the correct uh, display on the screen all right okay done this title is like a tool tip okay what is a tool tip okay let's go here and i just want to place my mouse my cursor over the image can you see the tooltip Garfield all right let me show you again aha uh -huh. so this is what is being displayed whenever you put anything in your title property so this will be displayed as a tooltip so basically you can put as many images as you want inside your uh, web page um, and how do you put in you use the image 